Hello, I am Xiaoyang Liu. I'm going to present my work on implementing the FinRL library. It is the deep reinforcement learning library for automated stock trading in quantitative finance. I did this work during this semester, and it is lucky to be accepted to the at the deep reinforcement learning workshop, NeuroRips 2020. For this course in particular, I will work through a Jupyter notebook for the multi-stock trading case. Our motivation for building the FinRL library in quantitative finance, stock trading is essentially making dynamic decisions, namely to decide where to trade at what price and what quantity, over a highly stochastic and complex stock market. Taking many complex financial factors factors into account, DRL trading agents build a multi-factor model and provide algorithmic trading strategies, which are trade which are challenging for human traders. So, we build a beginner-friendly library under three major principles: completeness, hands-on tutorials, and reproducibility. Currently, FinRL targets at beginners to quant finance. We would like to pave the way for beginners to gain hands-on experience of quant trading. We made the following contributions. FinRL is an open source library. We made it friendly to beginners and provide Jupyter notebook to show the steps. The trading performance is reproducible. The DRL algorithms are scalable to deal with large portfolio of stocks. We include typical trading tasks as use cases and provide benchmark performance. Our architecture, the FinRL library, has three layers. At the top is the application layer. Support different trading tasks. In the middle is the DRL agents layer. We provide a list of fine-tuned algorithms. At the bottom is the environment layer, including several stock markets. We tested the a list of algorithms and made a comparison, pointing out the pros and the cons, so that the users can select the best algorithm for their own purpose. Here is the performance of use cases by utilizing the automated backtesting module, single stock trading, multiple stock trading, and portfolio allocation. We use a step-by-step Jupyter notebook to show the implementations of those use cases. Our DRL agents perform reasonably well and can be used as starting point for users. Next, I'm going to walk through the Jupyter notebook for the multi-stock trading case. This Jupyter notebook includes seven steps. The first step is problem definition. We model the stock trading process as a Markov decision process, and formulate our trading goal as a maximization problem. So we need to specify the action, the reward function, the states. Here for the environment, we use the Dow thirty constant tuned the stocks. Second step is to install the FinRL library and some additional packages. We import those packages and create folders. The third step is to download. The finance data, the stock data. Here I use the Yahoo Finance. In particular, call the Yahoo Downloader class, and we need to specify the starting date, the end date, the list of stocks. Then use the fetch data function. Here is the data downloading process. We can check, have a look at the. Records for each stock, 
and for each day, we have the open, high, low, close, and volume. The first step is to do some pre-process of the data. We use the data feature, or we use the feature engineer, to extract the technical indicators and also the turbulence index. The first step is to design environment. We split the data into training data and trading data. We set the environment by environment set function. The sixth step is to call proper DRL algorithms. We found that the stable baseline screen is much better than the OpenAI baseline. Let's check out the PPO algorithm. We train it by specifying the <coughs> parameters, like the number of steps, the learning rate, and then the total number of time steps. Here is the training process. Then we can have a trade during the trading periods. The seventh step is to text test our strategy for the trading period. It's essentially using the backtest the st stats to calculate like the performance to calculate the performance metrics including the annual return the sharp ratio the cumulative return and the max drawdown yeah and also the backtest plot provides support for drawing the cumulative return The sharp ratio. Yeah. And also the monthly return, annual return, distribution of the monthly returns. That's all I got. Thank you.